The Third Chimpanzee, The Evolution and Future of the Human Animal by Gerard Diamond. There is a 1.2% difference in DNA between a chimpanzee and a human. So what makes us human be able to fly into space, to build weapons so powerful that we can annihilate the whole earth? And when did we separate into our own species and what was this leap that happened to us that enabled us to be the rulers of the earth? Welcome to the book lab, I'm Bjorn and every week we bring you a new video with the most interesting books that tackle the topics of philosophy, psychology, human potential and human nature and the time has come for the third chimpanzee and this is another book that I picked up from Charlie Munger's uh, reading list it's a uh, it's a true gift it's a gift it's the gift that keeps on giving I will post uh, a link to that reading list down below Charlie Munger he's a good friend of Warren Buffett who is one of the richest men in the world or at least he was and this book is quite amazing it covers a wide range of topics from anthropology, uh, evolutionary biology, history, linguistics, uh, and still it managed to stay very coherent. The book is split up into five parts. The relationship between humans and chimps, sexual selection, world conquest and environmental impacts and extinction. Here are some outtakes and notes. An alien zoologist from outer space would easily guess that humans are a mildly polygamist species. It turns out that harm size corresponds to male and female body size ratio. From a study made on people growing up in a kibbutz, a kibbutz is this small kind of settlement thing, we learn not to have sex with people that are intimately associated uh, that we're intimately associated with up to the age of six. There is no correlation between linguistic and social complexity. Primitive societies have as complex languages as advanced ones. There is a lot of fascinating things to learn from this book. For instance, why human men have medium-sized balls compared to chimps and gorillas on the other side of the spectrum. Now you want to know, right? But it's not just a bunch of random facts, right? It has a really dark tone towards the end, for instance, when it talks about the obstacles we human face if we want to continue to thrive in the future dealing with the limited resources we have here on earth. The author, he sees the continuous homogenization of uh, society as one of the keys actually to solving this problem with pollution and how we treat the earth. Because if we have a globalized society with a lot of people having the same, sharing the same value system that creates a foundation for us to act as one unit and globally and that's our biggest chance and biggest hope for the future. Which means that a loss of cultural variety might be the price we have to pay for our survival. I read this book a while back and it <laughs> totally blew my mind. If you're into Sapiens for instance then this is definitely a book that will be up your valley. Uh, it's a list talked about the book and I can't really understand why it's if you don't if you're not familiar with your diamond he's the author behind collapse and um, guns germs and steel he's a pulitzer prize winner uh, this guy he knows what's up so check out the third chimpanzee and that's it for me hit the subscribe button the like the ring the bell all that good stuff <laughs> good stuff it helps me reach more people and i'm back next week with more books that will help us understand human nature psychology our potential all of that good stuff bjorn out see you next week